You live in the twisted dark of centuries that others have piled on top of you, and yet you are not as old as that. You are not as old as the hurt you carry, the pain you felt. You are much younger. And yet the universe, which is very cold and very big, doesn't notice the discrepancy in the timeline. Someone wrapped their hands around you like their hands are a timeline, and they stopped the clocks that should have told your every finger and every toe that you were supposed to get older. And so you didn't grow. Your walls and your floors got taller and wider, but never that wide. Your building was never much larger than a treehouse. That's where he put you, up in the tree. And the tree was so busy growing itself that it didn't have time for you or for the hurt. It was hard, and the bark hurt like the callous fingers of a grown man. The tree let you fall into the bathtub, and that's where you wouldn't stop falling. It was as if the bathtub drain was tiny, but not so small that you couldn't fit through it. You disappeared into the plumbing. And even when you felt that you were lost, a clog in the copper arteries, the brute hands pulled you out. They would save you every time. But we are given only so many years by the universe and he made you borrow them and use them so young. He stole them. He took your years like they were hard candies in a porcelain bowl. Even though we're only supposed to take one, he took them by the handful. And so you are out of them. You're out of candy and you are out of years. And the only thing you have left is the fire on your head. It's the only thing that is still a part of you but it is a dangerous fire. It could destroy a thousand men. But you are selfish, and you keep every last tendril firmly in place. The fire on your head could burn a village down, but you save it to burn yourself.